Traditional medicine is widely used and increasingly relevant in the world today. Yet, it has been around for millennia. At a time when we were more in balance with our environment and in harmony with nature, we began looking into its healing powers to cure our aches and pains and discover our own remedies. Our understanding of traditional practices began to grow. Now over 80% of the world's population use traditional medicine. It's also the foundation for many modern medicines and practices. Some 40% of the approved pharmaceutical products in use today come from natural substances like tree barks and plant roots. So why don't national health strategies fully take all this into account? To answer these and other questions, we welcome the World Health Organization's new Global Center for Traditional Medicine. A bold new vision that starts in Jamnagar, Gujarat in India, but has a truly global reach. A center to support evidence and data, sustainability and innovation bringing together the latest knowledge and technology to advance our understanding of methods already in use by billions of people. Catalyzing ancient wisdom and modern science has never been more needed as we strive towards our global health objectives to keep the world healthy and safe, to serve those in the most vulnerable situations and promote good health and well-being for everyone. The theme of your leadership program of this year is explorers and investigators. We intend to choose a topic with big questions and more challenges. Let's talk about everybody. We are from Mumbai. Our topic is about her. Integrating Kata Vision 2030 
B इस्तेमाल करें इससे आप बहुत से बन जाएंगे शुक्रिया My project is about simple remedies using herbal plants. Now I am going to describe how the herbal plants can help us to be healthy. This is a powerful digestive aid. Serans improves elevator improves skin and inner health. Serans improves toxic agents and improves sleep quality. Rosemary helps to boost the immune system. Mint is rich in nutrients and helps to improve brain function. Lavender reduces blood pressure and heart attack. So we can see that how the herbal plants are important to us and we can take them as well. السلام عليكم كيف حالك حمزة؟ كله أحب الأسنان ولكن شاي الأعشاب أفضل من القهوة بالنسبة لعمري لماذا؟ لأنه يقوي جسمك يخرج السموم من الجسم من الأجسام من الأجسام ده حمزة أسك مي وات يو لايك كافي أور أوكي So we tell him we need the green tea is better because the green tea remove the which uh, uh, you give the healthy for the body. So it's green tea every day we take one uh, one time is very good for your body. Yeah, refreshment. Okay, okay, you're coming, you're fresh every day. Okay, so nice question, Hamza. Yes, yeah, the Thai is getting the better, but this is not the same. This is the daily thing that we need to do.
amla is very good. So today we are going to uh, use uh, some herbs and make an amla juice, which you will get to taste. Okay? Today we are reaching our goal of spreading the importance of herbs along with Qatar Vision 2030 preservation and modernization of traditional values successfully. Now we are at our final phase which is all about herbal teas. Let's learn more about it. I have organic time time scheme which boosts our immune system. We implement in one which helps reduce This is lemon ginger tea that white gold and help to fight our body with germs. I have peppermint which reduce our pepper boiling in them.